Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone. Peace and salutations to the Akimath on the four corners, teaching the truth and sincerity. This is Tasha Rakwa Mouth. And it's the brother of Rock, Shalom. Coming at you with a quick lesson, Lord's willingness is edifying. You know, Lord's willingness is edifying unto the whole full elect. Because we're coming into these times where we are seeing, you know, the wickedness of our people and the wickedness of these other nations, especially Esau Edom, you know, which have taken the birthright of the children of Yahweh by Shemi al Shai, okay, and surname themselves as, you know, the seed of the Most High, as we brought out in our last lesson, all right? But we're just going to go in and hit some points, you know. And Lord's willing, hoping that, that, that this is edifying to the elect. All right. So, without further ado, Baba Kusha, could you start off in Ecclesiastes chapter 17? Kind. This is a Sirach chapter 17, verse 22. It says, The alms of a man is as a signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of a man as the apple of, of the eye, and give repentance to his sons and daughters. So, yeah, how about Shemi is going to give repentance? Unto the sons and daughters of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, of Negroid descent, all right? And, and, uh, Baba Kosha, you can read it again. Kind. Sirach 17 and 22, it says, the alms of a man is as a signet with him. And, and that, that signet is like a stamp of approval. All right? So, how about Shemi al Whenever you come up in the proper you know, understanding of of the law, statutes, and commandments, which through Great Millstone has the hundred percent truth. Right, when you come into the hundred percent truth and you understand therein, you know, uh, it is a signet, you know, unto his sons and daughters. So, you know, it, it will it, it will benefit you. All right, Baba Moshe. Khan, this is a, the definition of that word signet for you, bro. It says a small seal, especially one set in a ring used instead of or with a signature to give authentication to an official document. To an official document, okay? And uh, uh, just like it says in Ecclesiastes chapter 44, verse 22, you know, uh, that inheritance that was given unto the 12 tribes of Israel through uh, Jacob, you know? Uh, uh, so... Uh, you just knowing that you are an Israelite, you just knowing that Yahweh by Shemi al Shai died for 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 you, you know, uh, and 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 knowing the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your capability, you know, that's that signet. Okay, you got it. Kind. Keep uh, read it again. No, no, Bob no. Kushai, uh, you can, you can move to the next one. next verse. Uh, no, the uh, next precept. Yeah, kind. Okay. Because we're we're going into. Um, uh, the wickedness of our people, all right. But how about Shemuel Shai has given the elect, you know, he has made them a signet, all right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter one, I believe, you can start at verse eight, you know, because the wickedness of our people, you know, is a sign that that how about Shemuel Shai hates. All right, he he hates when you go off, okay. Mm -hmm. Kind. This is a wisdom of Solomon, chapter one and verse eight. It says, um, "It says, therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid; neither shall vengeance when it's, when it punisheth pass him pass by him." Yeah. Let me read, read you that one more time. It says, "Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid." Neither shall vengeance when it punisheth it, when it punisheth it. Why am I saying that? When it's punished, <laughs> when it punisheth, <laughs> when it pass punished. by him. It's like you, gun. You know, because you how about your man or shy will will punish you for the wickedness that you you know uh, do, especially on on a day to day basis. Because we're supposed to repent for, from all our wicked deeds. You know, and um, uh, hate them vehemently, as it says in that uh, that Sirach 
17 and uh, 24, Bible. Better yet, I'll pull it. So rock 17. And yeah, because we, we were just in 17. You know, but so rock 17 and um, I believe it's 24 or 25, one of the two. Uh, I got it. Uh, this is um, Sirach chapter 17 and verse 24. And it reads, it says, But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. You know, see, those that repent. You know, what does repent means? It means to turn back, mm -hmm. all right, from the wickedness that you're doing, from the wickedness that you are prescribing to continue in, mm -hmm. all right? How about Shemiel Ashai would like you to repent and to turn back from your wicked deeds? Continue. Uh, if I can add to that, that, that through the Spirit, really that almost foretells of, of the Lord sending down the Comforter as well. That's right. You know what I mean? Sending down, you know, the, the under, open up our minds you know, to understand the, the scriptures, you know, uh, in these times. Kind. And, and you know? if, if I if I may say, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right. All right? Because with, with wisdom and knowledge, if you don't have understanding, then you're doing it for nothing. Right. All right? But that's what comforts us. Kind. You know? Verse 25, it says, Return unto the Lord and forsake thy, th thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Make thy prayer before his face. So that means that the eyes of Yahweh by Shemiel are 10,000 times power, more powerful than the sun. Mm -hmm. So, and then on top of that, he has his angels, you know, watching us. All right. So whenever you, you know, repent and turn back, he sees everything that you're doing. All right. You got it. Can I keep going? Or? No, no, no. That was it. You can go back to that Wisdom of Solomon 8. Okay. I mean, one and eight, so I hear. Con. This is a wisdom of Solomon, one and eight. It says, Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid, neither shall vengeance, when it punisheth, pass by him. For inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly. See, right there, Yahweh by Shemir Ashai sees everything. In inquisition, Baba Koshak, could you pull that word? Yep. Inquisition. Con. Because because it, it's it, it's very specific, right? It says <laughs> it says um, a synonym is interrogation, right? But the definition is a period of prolonged and intensive questioning <laughs> or investigation. <laughs> so so you how about Shemini Oshai will search out your ways, mm -hmm. all right? He'll he'll search out whether you are 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 going about it the proper way. Or, or if you need to be judged for the wickedness that which you have done, you know. But that goes to two thirds of our own people, which their judgment is already sealed, all right. Which is the thermonuclear missiles, all right. And and uh, Esau Edom, which his judgment is already sealed too. He gets the same piece, all right. But kind, kind. You can go back to it. All right. Verse Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 9, it says, For inquisition shall be made into the count, counsels of the ungodly, and the sound of his words shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. Uh, of his wicked deeds. All right, manifestation, you, you, you can pull that word too. Right. Kind of. I got you. It's that word manifestation. It says, um, An event action or object that clearly shows or embodies something <laughs> <laughs> clearly shows right so you know it it, it 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 will be known it will be seen yep. all right yep. and now keep that precept in in mind all right mm -hmm. keep so, going and wisdom song no no jump to uh Sirach 34 mm -hmm. uh and i believe it's um you can you can start at um 17 um, or Salakia. So, so one second, let, let me let me pull it real quick so I can make sure. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, come on. Uh, oh, Sirach 34 and 17? And 18. Yep. Oh, yeah, 18. So, so, so like, yep. That was all good. Sirach 34 and 18, it says, He that sacrifices of a thing wrongfully gotten, his offering is ridiculous. 
and the gifts of unjust men are not accepted. Because just like uh, um, uh, it's like a Cain and Abel, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, Cain's gift was fruitful, right. foolish, ridiculous, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like like <laughs> it, it was it was it was look looked upon with a frown. Yep. All right. And that's also how the Lord is looking at a lot of these other, you know, niggas, all these other so-called, you know, uh, Israelites out here, you know, that are that are offering, you know, un whack. unacceptable sacrifices. You know, they're not doing things according to the word. They're not they're not doing things according to how we've been told to do the do the things that we're doing. Cut. You know, there's a specific set of instructions that we've been given. Cut. You know, so when you deviate from that. Your offering becomes it becomes madness. Null and void. It's that uh that strange that strange fire in the, in the book of Numbers. Kind. And it talked about uh the, the I forget the exact name names, you know the them offering that strange fire and the Lord smote the ass. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but let me keep going. You got it. Like it's okay. Uh, Sirach chapter thirty four and verse nineteen, it says the Most High is not pleased with the offerings of the wicked. Neither is he pacified for sin by the multitude of sacrifices. You know, so so just like those uh, uh, jakes that was um, uh, sacrificing those doves and those animals, you know, knowing that they're about to commit a sin, you know, Yahweh Bashem Shai frowned upon that, all right, because he knew that y'all knew that, <laughs> that that was fucking wicked, all right. Y'all are premeditating. Even though, even though your your sacrificing your sacrifice is, is is not worthy to be sacrificed, mm -hmm. okay? You got one? Yeah. This is um, Psalms chapter fifty one and seventeen. It says the sacrifices of the Most High are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. Oh, Yahweh Shai, thou will not despise. Thou will not despise. You got some more? Gone. I mean, that's that's the point on that. You know what I mean? And that's uh, that's true repentance. Yeah. You know, being being contrite and, and broken. You know, because of because of that old man, because of those things that you were doing. All right, before you came into this truth, and even things that we do right that yeah. we do on a daily basis. Because because even though that we're in this truth, we're still men. Right. We still go off. You know, mm -hmm. but. We have repentance, you know, to, to, to put us back on the proper path, mm -hmm. all right, through Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, because his sacrifice wasn't for the nation, it was for the elect. And call Haloyim like Yahweh Bashim Shai for that, man, because without his sacrifice, we would be nothing. We'll be, we'll, we'll be a filthy rag in this, we'll be a menstruous cloth, right. all right? We do. Yep. But all you right. got to go, uh, go back in that, um, Yep. Sirach. Yep, I got you, bro. This is a wisdom. I mean, a, excuse me. This is a Sirach, uh, thirty-four and verse twenty. It says, "Whoso bringeth an offering of the goods of the poor, doeth as one that killeth the son before his father's eyes." Damn, and does that not sound like Esau right there? Mm -hmm. Because Esau has done that on multiple occasions. Right. Okay, and how about Shimei Shai frowns upon that. Even though he turns and says, "Look at thy people, for they're they, they, they are going off." At the says in that um, uh, is it Jeremiah? Yeah, Jeremiah. Uh, because Esau wants to keep the eyes on us whenever we go off, you know. But how about Shimei Shai sees all. He's not just pinpointed on one person. He sees everything. And call the lawyer like how about Shimei Shai for that? Because he sees the wrongs that are done to his people. All right? Okay, verse 21. It says, The bread of the needy is their life. He that defraudeth him thereof is a man of blood. He that taketh away his neighbor's living slayeth him. And he that defraudeth the laborer of his hire is a bloodshedder. Is a bloodshedder. Okay? Because they're shedding innocent blood. Okay, they, they they are doing this willfully. Esau does this willfully. Two thirds Jake, these wicked gutter gutter ass niggas out here that that's always looking for the next buck. All right, of this fiat fucking currency. All right, 
they they don't have Yahweh Bashimi Shai in mind. They have wanted to fill their own bellies. Okay? Kind, kind. And that makes me think about what the uh, elder Ariel always says. What we're witnessing right now is a controlled demolition, Con. you know, of the global economy. And what that's doing is that's destroying people's way of life. That's destroying people's ability to sustain themselves, you know. And exactly like what we're reading, you know, that's the equivalent, you know, of, of just straight up just slaying a man in, in cold blood. Con. O openly. Openly. In front of everybody. You know what I mean, and and that's what that's what we're doing, that's what the Lord is doing. He, he he's he's bringing he's raising an inquisition like we like we went into earlier. You yeah. know what I mean? He's raised up the men of the Lord. He's raised up the prophets, all right, to bring these things to light, to expose these things, and to question, you know, Esau Edom. Yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 that'll be openly as well. Yep. Because just like they're slaying men openly. How about Shimei Al-Shai is going to judge them openly. And it starts with the mouthpiece. It starts with the men of the Lord going out here on the highways and byways. Week in and week out. You know, to prophesy how about Shimei Al-Shai openly. All right. Just like they going to come from, for, for us. How about Shimei Al-Shai is going to come for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you want me to keep going on that? Uh, no, nah, Baba Kushai, you can um, uh, pull that Micah. Micah 2? Yep. You can pull that in the G and T, Baba Kushai. Con. Don't even bother in the KJV? No, no it, it, it'll, it'll say pretty much the same thing, but it'll, it, it, it'll say it in more detail. Con, I got you, bro. Start at verse 2. Baba Kushai. All right, this is Micah 2 and verse 2. I'm going to read it in the G and T. It says, when they want fields, it says, when they want fields, they seize them. When they want houses, they take them. No one's family or property is safe. You know, and that's Esau. No one's safe in the society. We're not living here. We're surviving. All right? Esau will come and, and, and just take your whole household just because he wants to. Eminent domain? That is a that is an actual thing. And, and Jake's going to see very soon. You know, that Revelation 12 and 12? And whenever he comes down with that great wrath, Hey, how about Shimei al Shah has sanctioned it to happen? Mm -hmm. Okay? But. Con. This is uh, verse 3. It says, And so the Lord says, I am planning to bring disaster on you, and you will not be able to escape it. No, yeah, how about Shimei al Shah is bringing disaster upon his people? All right? Because cause they choose not to follow his will. Mm -hmm. And and since you don't choose it, how about Shimei al Shah will. Allow the enemy to come in like a flood. You got it. Yep. It says, you uh, you are going to find yourselves in trouble. Woo! <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble. Right? These wicked ass niggas taught, teaching that that ain't no Jacob's trouble. Uh, there ain't no Jacob's trouble. There ain't no Jacob's trouble. That, that, that's not going to happen. Oh, what does the scripture say? Read it again, Bob Kushan. It says, you are going to find yourselves in trouble. Jacob's trouble. And then... You will not walk so proudly anymore. You know, so just like you, uh, you women, they're, they're, they're out here walking with that stiff neck and that, you know, uh, wanton eyes, thinking that, thinking that everything comes to you. Mm -hmm. How about Shimmy Al Shai? About to cut that out too. Yep. All right, continue. The great humbling. The great humbling. The great fucking humbling, man. <laughs> That's what's coming to the planet Earth. Call Haloyim like How about Shimmy Al Shai? Because we. Desperately need it. And the, and the pride that we see on the planet Earth Whew. gives us a gauge, all right, gives us a way of, 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 of measuring how vicious this judgment is about to be because the pride of these people is fucking astronomical, man. Yeah. So this judgment is going to be lethal. You know? Hey, and if, if, I, if I may say, because it says, uh, what, in, in that Obadiah, the, the, the pride of thy heart has deceived thee, O that dwelleth in the cleft of the rocks. Right. So that pride has come from Esau, yep. all right, and Trickle has down. has trickled down to mm -hmm. Eve, yep. all right. Yep. You know, Baba Kusha, hold that, pull that uh, John chapter 8, yep. verse 44. Because Eve thinks that she's high and fucking mighty, you know, so I can for my speech, you know, she, hey, hey, your pride about to put you in a position where you 
is gonna be left with no hands. God damn it! You you about to be an issue or have issues? So like you gonna be about to have issues? Yep. So Bob Kusha. Yep. John eight and forty four. It says, "Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do." The lust of your father, ye will do. Okay. And see, this is talking to you two third niggas, to use two third uh, uh, females. All right, I wanted to say something else, but I'm I'm gonna hold my tongue <laughs> because yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai is about to put a culling on your ass, man? You gonna be eating your children, you know, because you got them by ill game. So yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai is about to go in on you? Go go, go ahead. I yes. like it. It says he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. You know why? Because that's Esau Edom. He wasn't given the blessing. He forsook wisdom. He thought wisdom wasn't going to profit at him. Because he wasn't thinking spiritually. He couldn't think spiritually. Because Yahweh by Shimei Shai didn't allow him to. Okay? Continue. It says, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. He is the father of lies. Okay? <laughs> Who ate the cookies? It was a black man. Damn one-year-old Edomite chick. Goddamn, bro. Speaking lies from the womb. Yep. Okay. You know, you can go back to, to the Micah. Yep, back in Micah, uh, chapter 2 and verse, uh, four, verse 4 in the GNT, it says, When that time comes... People will use the story about you as an example of disaster. <laughs> as, as an example right. of disaster. Mm -hmm. Damn. The Lord loves making examples. Bro, <laughs> hey, quick. <laughs> quick. Oh, he, he will tell you about yourself <laughs> and then show everybody else. Mm -hmm. All right? And, and getting back on that damn woman, Baba Gusha, could you pull me uh, Sirach chapter 23? Uh, you can start at verse, since, since I'm there, I'm already there, I, I get it. Sure. Done. I'm there. I might beat you. Uh, uh, I got it. Okay. Uh, so we're on, this is, that's 24. So I, I'm there. Yeah, it's one page over. I, I, I got it. I see your fingers going, brother. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is the Rock chapter tw twenty three, starting at, at uh, verse twenty six. That's right, verse twenty six. So like, yeah. It says, "She shall leave her mem." Well, verse twenty four. It says, "She shall be brought out." Into the congregation, and inquisition shall be. So like it. I'll start up at twenty three. It says twenty two is, is where it really really starts. All right, so like you. Bro, 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 show you uh, so like <laughs> so twenty three and twenty two. Just getting on you, damn nigga women. Yep. It says, "Thus shall it go, also with the wife that leaveth her husband and bringeth in an heir by another." And that's what all you. Women out here nowadays, cause y'all y'all ain't with the first man that popped you. Right. All right. So therefore, y'all are um, adulterers. Y'all are whores. Yep. Okay. Y'all belong in a whorehouse. Yep. You know, make some money for your uh, uh, father. Mm -hmm. All right. But you ain't even doing that. You're getting it all by ill guiding game for yourself. Continue. Keep reading down. Yeah, just read down, bro. Yep. For first, she hath disobeyed the law of the Most High. First, she has disobeyed the law of the Most High. Keep going. It says, and secondly, secondly, she hath trespassed against her own husband, and thirdly, she hath played the whore in adultery and brought children by another man. So you have brought children by another man. That's to all these women that got multiple seeds, you know, by by, by multi, multiple different uh, fathers. All right. So you got firstborns by five different dudes, you know. And and that's an abomination in the eyes of your by Shimmy Al Shai. And he frowns upon that. But yet you you wanna turn up in this life. You wanna turn up in the society because y'all y'all got Esau, y'all daddy, to 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 tell y'all it's okay. All right? Make more of them little niggas. And 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 the littlest one gonna get eight first. Just so you know you're gonna eat that little nigga. 
All right, continue. It says, it says, she shall be brought out into the congregation, and inquisition shall be made of her children. Now, now that is going to be in the righteous society. All right, if hey, you're going to be brought out in front of the elders, and you know, in inquisition, and we just went into that word inquisition. You know, it's going to be made of your children. Right. You know, whether it's it's the man that has you know uh, brought you into the house and, and 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 humbled you, you know, and turned you into a wife, you know, or is it the other men that's been laying with you that you got children? Side niggas. Side niggas. <laughs> you know, or or what's the Spanish? Uh, Oh, Spanish version? Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, nah, I do. Uh, <laughs> Sancho's. <laughs> you know, yeah. Sancho's. Continue. Okay. It says, she shall, she shall be brought out into the congregation, and inquisition shall be made of her children. Her children shall not take root, and her branches shall bring forth no fruit. It shall bring forth no fruit. That means discontinuization. You know, so the only way it's going to happen is we'll, with, with a strict and powerful death. Like these other nations, they don't play that game. They'll, they'll, they'll go and behead their women easy. You know, oh, you just went and slept with my daddy, pow, 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 pow. All y'all dead. You know, continue. It says, she shall leave her memory to be cursed and her reproach shall... Hold on, wait, wait, wait. So her memory. So that means she's not here anymore. <laughs> That's right. Continue. It says she shall leave her memory to be cursed, and her reproach shall not be blotted out. Shall not be blotted out. So everybody gonna see your shame. Con. Everybody gonna see your wickedness. Continue. Con. It says, and they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. That's the one I wanted to pull. But, hey, uh, we need all the meat, right? Yep. You know? Yep. Yep. Go ahead, continue. It says, it is great glory to follow the Lord and to be received of him is long life. You know, so it's long life for a woman to follow you out by Shimmy Al Shai by keeping her legs closed or, or keeping everything that is cherish, cherishable to her husband and not go out here and be hoes. All right? But, hey, whenever you go back to that Micah, Y'all women gonna see, bro. Yeah, how about Shimmy on shot ain't playing with you, man? All right, you gonna you gonna eat, you know, Devonte. Yeah, that little nigga is gonna be in a pot. You gonna stew that nigga? No potatoes, just all meat. Continue, bro. Done. Uh, the Micah chapter two and um, verse four. It says, "When that time comes." People will use the story about you as an example as of disaster. Example. And they will sing this song of despair about your experience. We are completely ruined. The Lord has taken away or has taken our land away and given it to those who took us captive. So that happened here. Right. All right. That happened whenever uh, so called Cristobal Colon, you know, uh, which that's his proper name. Uh, I meant to say Christopher Columbus, mm -hmm. but his name is Cristobal Colon. Mm -hmm. Who he came over here and he stole the land from the Reubenites and from the Gadites. All right, but first, didn't he uh, land in so-called Hispaniola or Puerto Rico, where Ephraim was the head, the the, the, the head tribe of the uh, Northern Kingdom? So. You know, Yahweh by Shimei Shai has set this whole thing in order. All right, he he set us to fall as a people. You know, multiple times mm -hmm. because we, we we didn't follow or keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Didn't the Northern Kingdom come over here to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shimei You know, uh, right? But no, they went off. So judgment would have. Had to ensue then, just like it has to ensue now. So like, you right. got it. Prophecy, yeah, prophecy had to happen. Con, it had to. Yep. It says, um, it says, so then, verse five. So then, when the time comes for the land to be given back to the Lord's people, there will be no share for any of you. None. Verse six. It says the people the people preach at me and say, don't preach at us. 
don't preach about that. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't preach about all that. Let me read that again. Micah 2 and 6. It says, the people preach at me and say, don't preach at us. Don't preach about all that. You know, it says, don't 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 say that. Speak to us smooth things. That's right. Prophesy deceit. Mm -hmm. You know, let me know that I'm going to get my house. Let them know that I'm going to get my car. Hell, I want to I wanna be on the up tip. I don't want to be on the uh, uh, position where I got to reprove myself. Where I have to think about you. How about shimmy all shot with a clear mind? All right. And know that if I continue doing what I'm doing, I'm going to get fucked up. They don't want people don't want to think like that. But hey, how about shimmy all shot has a humbling tool. All right. Just like he's going to give us that, that iron to correct the heathen. You got to get corrected too, Jake. You got to. And, and, and Esau, ooh, I have been meditating for you. Ooh, I pray you how about Shimmy Al Shai allow me to enact everything that I think of on you, bro. Ooh. <laughs> so, so like, I'm bro. Like it 2 and 6. It says, the people preach at me and say, don't preach at us. Don't preach about all that. God is not going to disgrace us. Man, open shame. You're going to be an open shame, Eve. You're going to be an open shame, you two-third niggas. Because you know why? Because you deserve it. You deserve it for the wrong that you have done. Especially to the men of your how about Shimmy Al Shai has been out there. You saw what happened to Elton Ma Ma mm -hmm. Ma Ma Yeah, I said that. You know, it, it, bro, you you will be judged for that. That was a wicked act. And your how about Shimmy Al Shai is going to judge you openly. Everybody's going to see your shame. Continue. Yep, it says, um, verse 7. Do you think the people of Israel are under a curse? Hmm. Has the Lord lost patience? Would he really do such things? Doesn't he speak kindly to those who do right? The Lord replies, You attack my people like enemies. Men return home from battle thinking they are safe at home. But there you are waiting to steal the coats off their backs. And that sounds like Esau right there. Hey, Baba Kushal, you can pull that Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 12. Because... Cause that links up well, uh, unless you want me to. No, I, I can get it. Just gonna text it. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two, verse twelve. It says, "Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. He is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us for uh, so like it. He upbraideth us." With our offending the law and objecteth uh, to our infamy in infamy, the transgressing of our education. Okay, how about Shimei Al Shai uh, ha has put the spirit upon you know the men of the how about Shimei Al Shai to judge you know you two thirds and especially Esau. For the wickedness which they have done. Alright. And that's going to happen whenever the chariots come back. Because that inquisition is being made. And judgment is going to. You know. Commence. Speedily. Alright. And righteously. Alright. But you got it in that Micah. Yeah. It says verse 9. It says you drive the women of my people out of the homes they love. And you have robbed their children of my blessings forever. So. Isn't that what Esau does now? He, oh, you don't need a man. You can go to work. You know, you, you, can, you can go to work and, you know, you're, you're driving her out the home where she's comfortable, where she can maintain the kids. Where she belongs. Where she belongs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Where she can maintain and watch little Timothy or, you know, or little Sasha. All right. Because... For a child, learning starts at home from the mother. Okay, then they are groomed up properly, especially if if it's a man child. You know, then then the father picks him up. You know, and and he learns his father's uh, uh, job, and he does it. But he's taught that from a youth. You know, groomed. He's groomed into it. Princess, like the scripture say, you know, Yasharala. Yeah, Yasharala, yeah. princess of the power. Just, just like Yahweh Shai, he was groomed into being a carpenter. 
All right, and and whenever he was old enough, he maintained that. All right, from his father. But Salakia. Yep. It says, um, it says, get up and go. There is no safety here anymore. Your sins have doomed this place to destruction. Have doomed this place. So this place that we're in right now, which is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, this is a doomed land. All right, Esau Edom has already signified that through the killing and the slaughter of our people upon this whole land for from, you know, what, uh, 1492 until now. You know, and yes, your sins have reached up into heaven, Esau. All right. And it's going to come down upon your own head. All right. Baba Kushat, one more. Pull that Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. Come. Okay. You know? This is the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. And it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. His rebuke with flames of fire. Okay, so that means judgment's going to commence and it's going to be the elect will be in the chariots watching y'all get burnt up. Lord's will, I'm a part of that. Lord's will, this brother's a part of it. You know, the Akim that go out there faithfully Day in and day out on the highways and byways, they're a, they're going to be a part of this. All right, they're going to watch your downfall. You, you got another one? No, nah, I'm, I'm chilling. All right, come on. Well, with that, you know, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shimi Hawashai by Shemer Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles. Shalom and Shalom. Shalom.